Fans were first introduced to Chantel Everett and Pedro Jimeno on 90 Day Fiancé after starring on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After and 90 Day Fiancé Self-Quarantined. Pedro and Chantel's love story continued on their eponymous spin-off series, The Family Chantel. Sadly, the fifth and ultimate season of the series depicted the former couple navigating the conclusion of their joint marital obligations and embarking on individual paths. This marked the definitive conclusion to their narrative, which had gained renown through the portrayal of their love story on reality television. Back in May 2022, Chantel and Pedro officially filed for divorce, which wasn't really that surprising to their loyal fans, as the deterioration of their marriage was up for everyone to see on their hit show. However, what truly stunned viewers was Chantel's accusation of domestic violence and abuse against her ex-husband, leading her to file for divorce, citing grounds of cruel treatment, physical domestic violence, and mental anguish. So acrimonious was their split, both were granted restraining orders against each other. Pedro accused Chantel of stealing more than 200000 from their joint bank account account, while the latter accused him of cheating on her with his co-worker. Having put the past behind her, Chantel is determined not to let the challenging breakup hinder her quest for true love. In the fourth installment of 90 Day Fiancé, The Single Life, which premiered in January, she eagerly delves into the dating scene in Greece, fully embracing her inner party spirit. Following her divorce, she reportedly attracted attention from athletes and celebrities, including Drake and Waka Flocka. Regarding Pedro, he's actively working on redefining himself after his portrayal as a reality TV antagonist, putting considerable effort into gaining credibility in his career as a real estate agent. Moreover, he has reason to rejoice in his personal life, having acquired a bachelor pad in Jefferson, Georgia last August, following the sale of the former marital home he shared with Chantel for $417,000. Despite speculation about a romantic involvement with his friend, Koraima Morla, neither has confirmed such rumors. While numerous relationships depicted on the show have fallen apart, Thomas and Karen's bond remains unshakable. The husband-wife duo has redeemed themselves over the years by proving that they are a fierce, loyal, and loving couple. Karen has also made amends with her son Royal's wife, and Jeanette, after many publicized clashes in the past. Karen seems to be making a big name for herself beyond the reality TV circuit, and is a published author, public speaker, and business owner as per her Instagram. Royal and Anjanette had notable storylines in Season 2, before abruptly disappearing from the series as the couple mutually decided not to continue appearing in subsequent seasons. Away from the TLC cameras, the couple focused on building their own family. In December 2021, they experienced parenthood for the first time, with the birth of their son, Royal Jr. Preferring a low-key lifestyle, Royal and Anjanette have kept their two-year-old son out of the public eye. Despite distancing self from the Everett's, they have been spotted at various family events, but managed to prioritize their privacy and concentrate on their growing family. Throughout their time on the family Chantel, Nicole was publicly involved with Alejandro, although it seems their on and off relationship has finally come to an end. In the past year, Nicole has also made a guest appearance on 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise, The Caribbean, during her mom Lydia's stint on the show, providing valuable dating advice to the matriarch of the Jimeno family. While he has built a strong reality TV resume thanks to his time on 90 Day Fiancé and the family Chantel, Rivers' main focus is his music career. The former reality star, who has been making music for a decade now, released his first music video in 2022 for the song Doubted, which featured some of his famous relatives like his mom and elder sister. He remains actively engaged with his fans, regularly sharing updates about his musical endeavors. His latest single, Big Body, was released last July, which demonstrated his ongoing commitment to creating good music. After undergoing bariatric surgery in 2022, Winter experienced a notable shift. She transformed her life, going from a size 24 to a size 14 and embracing her own identity and overcoming insecurities. She has since become a successful influencer, leveraging her reality TV fame to connect with nearly 300,000 followers while also advocating body positivity. Like her older sister Chantel, who's a nurse, she's also involved in healthcare. She works as an ophthalmic technician. Her role involves working closely with ophthalmologists, diagnosing diseases, and caring caring for patients. Winter's multifaceted career reflects not only her commitment to personal growth, but also her dedication to making a positive impact in both the entertainment and healthcare industries. Lydia made a comeback in the 90 Day franchise when she starred in the third season of 90 Day Fiancé, Love in Paradise, the Caribbean last April, where she introduced fans to her new romantic interest, Scott Wern. Following a year-long online romance, the couple finally met with the hopes of taking their relationship a step further, but sadly, they couldn't weather the reality storm and broke up. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.